What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're looking at one of my favorite urban free skates and that is the Rollerblade Twister Edge. The Rollerblade Twister Edge has made quite the name for itself in the inline community. You can see the skate on people doing slalom, fitness skating, uh, and even urban freestyle skating. This skate is known for its versatility as well as its high quality parts. The Rollerblade Twister has been around for quite a while now. The Twister Edge skates came out in 2018, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we get with these Twister Edge skates. The boot is just a full hard shell boot, great for durability, um, it's lightweight. The actual cuff here, um, the nice thing about the cuff is it is a removable cuff, as well as on the back here, there's actually a V cut, better mobility, uh, especially for if you're a slalom skater. The buckle is pretty much just your basic stuff. It's got a button here for release, which is kind of nice. So it's not just tension. It does actually have something that you push on and it clicks into place. And then on the opposite side, it's really nice because it actually goes inside the cuff. So you don't have this extra little tail hanging out. The only thing I don't like about this is the fact that this buckle is a plastic buckle right here. Really wish they would have just made this piece metal. Um, it just feels like really chintzy plastic. And uh, it, I don't know, it's probably not a big deal, but everything else on the skate is like completely solid. I just, I just wish they would have went the extra 10% and finished the skate out. So this uh, 45 degree buckle is really, really nice on this boot. It keeps your heel locked in place as you're rolling. It does not move at all. It, it, I love the metal on it. And I really love this ratchet system, how you pull on it and it just like a snowboard binding or something like that, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, as we work our way down, we have the laces. Uh, these are actually the aftermarket laces. These are some wax hockey laces that I put on all my skates. Other than this skate right over here, just because I dug the yellow laces, uh, these are the actual laces that it comes with. They're not great laces, um, so I would highly recommend upgrading to some wax hockey laces. Uh, the eyelets are awesome, full metal. Um, you can really cinch down on them and they're, they'll pull the boot together a little bit. Um, it is a hard boot, hard shell boot, so it's not gonna have so much flex to kind of pull in on, but that's okay, because you have all this other stuff to tighten your foot in there. If we move down the boot, we have the slide plate here. Uh, I love the fact that there's a slide plate on this just because when you do go down, you're sliding, tearing this up and you're not eating through your shell of your boot. So let's go to the bottom of the boot. A little bit tough to see with this frame on, but I'll do my best here. The first thing I wanna talk about is the, what they call the anti-torsion box. This thing is basically what makes this skate for me. What this is, is underneath here and here where the actual frame attaches to the skate. There's actually a little aluminum block. That aluminum block inside the plastic really helps for power transfer. You literally feel like you are, this frame and wheel set is a part of your foot. On top of that, it's also great for the fact that when you're landing stuff, so say you're doing jumps and stuff, that aluminum block in here is a lot more solid than plastic. Um, and actually my last skates, my last set of twisters, uh, I actually cracked the bottom of the boot. Really happy that they added some, some extra rigidity and thickness to this, this sole in this boot. Um, I think it's a great thing for everyone. And the last thing in the bottom of these boots, um, there's actually vents for air. Uh, the last model of these skates actually had vents all over the boot everywhere. Um, this skate is a little bit more clean looking, the vents aren't all over the top of the boot, the vents are actually hidden underneath. So right in the toe, there's two little vents right there. And then right under here, so right in there, uh, there's actually a big like square grid, um, big old opening right under your foot for air to go through. The liner and insoles also have holes right in these same spots. So when air does go through, it goes straight to your foot. This thing is probably one of the best liners I have seen in a uh, stock liner. <laughs> I mean, this thing, this thing's awesome. It's got it all. It has the V cut in the back here so that it mirrors up with the cuff. Obviously it's strapped for carrying the skates, which is a must have these days. A, kind of a heavier duty neoprene in the toes. It doesn't, doesn't stretch 
too much, but does give a little bit of stretch in the toes. The materials that this is made out of is, I'm not 100% sure, but you can tell it just feels heavy duty and, and really, really good quality. You can tell this thing's gonna last for quite some time. They're a little more comfortable than my Intuition liners. Uh, the Intuition liners are a little bit stiffer uh, foam than what's in these. This kind of has that Intuition liner style like stiffness in places, but it also has another thin layer of more uh, soft foam so that it's a little more comfort. On the bottom of these guys, there is a bunch of holes. Uh, these holes line up straight with the uh, bottom of the boot. The insole is actually just a pretty shoddy, cheap insole, to be honest. Um, very, very thin, no, no cushion, very, very hard. I might switch this out in the future uh, just to give a little more of a comfort ride uh, for those longer fitness skates. But if I do, I need to repuncture a bunch of holes in these areas so that my foot can breathe. Uh, I can utilize um, all these air hole vent areas. And then the boot actually has the shock absorber in there. Here's where the shock absorber is down there in the boot. You can see that red shock absorber. Take it out for you. It's really thin. Not not too thick at all. Oh, and here's another cool thing you see. There's that that metal in the bottom there, if you can see it. That's the actual uh, anti-torsion box. There's two of those in this skate. All right, so we move from the liner uh, all the way down to the frame. This frame right here is an extruded aluminum frame. The frames uh, come in a 243 and a 255 configuration um, in length. This is a 243 frame because my uh, skate is a 26.5 skate. These frames come with uh, race axles, so you're only tightening up on one side of the, the frame, which is super nice. I wish they would incorporate this into aggressive skating if it's doable. Uh, last thing about the frames is they are laterally adjustable, so there's actually a little bit of a play, so you can actually move the frame from left to right, which is a nice option to have. So last up, um, unfortunately my wheels are rotated the wrong way right now, so let's flip the skate around. Let's talk about the wheels. Uh, these guys are the Hydrogen 80 millimeter 85As. These are Rollerblade's best wheels uh, they create, and some of the best wheels ever created on inline skates for all I'm concerned. The Twister X's come with these hydrogen wheels. Uh, the base model of the Twister Edges just come with the Supreme wheels, which I have found pretty good. Uh, they are a little sluggish, but I skate on them and I'm just fine. Actually, these are some Supreme wheels right here. These 110s are Supremes. I enjoy them. They're totally fine. They're all 85A durometer and they're both great sets of wheels. So you really can't go wrong. What's in these wheels right now is the Twin Cam ILQ9 bearings. Uh, these are some of the best bearings I've ever been on. They are fast as hell and they have lasted for quite some time. These are the non-serviceable ones. So when these do finally die on me, uh, I plan to replace them with the Pro model, uh, which basically is just a serviceable version of these. That's another thing that'd be great is they, they came with the Pros, um, just so that you have a, a, a bearing that will last a, a lot longer than a non-serviceable one. The lower grade Twister Edge base model skates, uh, those come with a twin cam ILQ7 bearing, which are also great as well. They're just not quite as smooth um, and as fast as the ILQ9s, also not serviceable. They're great bearings to start with and roll with for quite some time. So yeah, that's the uh, Twister Edge skates. You also get in the box a brake if you want it. Uh, you get some manuals and a couple of the short little Allen keys, uh, as well as an extra set of laces. Enough talking about the skates, let's go see them in action.
So what do I think about these Rollerblade Twister Edge skates? Well, if I'm not skating aggressive, these are my go-to skates. So in my opinion, they are amazing. Let me explain. So number one for the pros, they are lightweight. When I have these things strapped on, these things are light and tight. They feel like a part of my foot. I can't tell you how good it feels when you have a skate that fits like a glove and is lightweight. It's, it, it feels like a part of your body. It's amazing. Number two, these skates are durable. Um, from the hard shell uh, to the aluminum frame and those anti-torsion aluminum uh, block box in the bottom of the skate, all the way to the wheels that are super thick with urethane and just seem to last forever. These skates really don't need upgrades for quite some time. Uh, these skates are versatile. They are great for slalom, great for fitness skating, great for urban uh, free skating around the city. I mean, you can really do almost anything in these skates. Um, they're kind of the one skate quiver. The liners in these skates, whether you get the X model with the better liner or the the, the regular liner, they are both well-crafted. They got great materials. They're super durable. They mold your foot great. They just, they just are a solid balance of comfort and performance um, and durability in a liner. They're great. The anti-torsion box. This um, was really the game changer uh, from the last model to this model of the skate, for me actually. And that's for two reasons. The first reason is the uh, fact that you can have so much power transfer from that aluminum frame through that aluminum block in the bottom of your, your skate. Um, it just, it, it feels like one piece of aluminum. Uh, the second reason is just the durability factor. Um, on my old skates, I did crack the base of my plastic boot by coming down off, you know, bigger jumps and that metal frame pushing up against that plastic boot, you know, over and over again, it just started cracking. So, but I think this is a better solution to a stronger system for boot to frame setup. And lastly, Rollerblade has an amazing warranty. Uh, I talked about how my previous 2017 Twisters, um, I cracked the bottom of the boot. After I cracked it, I was like, crap, you know, these are, oh, a year old or so. Um, and I also got them when they were later in their life cy cycle too. So they didn't sell these older versions of the Twisters anymore. So I was just like, well, what are they gonna do? I don't know. Gave them a call, said, this is what happened. They're cracked here. Um, you know, is there anything you can do? The guy basically said, yeah, that shouldn't have cracked there. Uh, we are going to send some skates out right away. Um, would the new Twister Edge model be okay for you? And I was like, wow, are you serious? This is awesome. I basically sent him, sent him my old skate. The new skates were back in about a week or so. I was skating again, it was awesome. Um, and on top of that, like the cherry on the top, the guy was so cool. He went and undid all of my wheels off of my frames, put them back in the box in a nice baggie when he sent me my new skates. So he basically said, I don't want these nice hydrogen wheels to go to waste. Uh, you still got some, some life on them, so I want you to be skating them. If that's not um, the customer service and just the type of people and company that you want behind your skate products, because skate products are skate products. They get worn and torn and broken. I mean, if something goes wrong that you don't think should have went wrong uh, within the life of your skates, it's great to have a company like Rollerblade to back those skates up, to get you a new product to keep you rolling again without forking out another bunch of money for some new skates. Um, props to Rollerblade. So there are a few cons with the skates, um, although very small. The first ones at the top, I mentioned that the top buckle was a kind of cheap plastic. I wish that was metal, just kind of like that 45 degree buckle. Um, small nitpick, but you know, it's just something that kind of irks me. I wish it was, I wish it was just a little bit better quality there. Uh, the second, the laces are pretty chintzy right out of the box. Um, that being said, most laces on skates are pretty chintzy. I always go and get um, waxed hockey laces. Uh, waxed hockey laces are the best and I just swear by them so all my skates uh, have them. The third thing would have to be they're not the cheapest skate on the market but for, for all the stuff you get for that price 
it's not a bad deal. One negative that I don't know if it's a, if it's a negative uh, is the fact that they are made by Rollerblade, uh, which is a not core brand in the Rollerblade or inline community. Um, I don't abide by any of that BS. I think you should ride whatever you want to ride and support whoever you want to support. Um, I think they make a great high quality skate with a great warranty and if they work, they fit for you and they, they work for you, it doesn't matter. Uh, the last con I would say is they are very narrow. Um, they're for a low volume, narrow foot. And that's a smaller portion of the market and a lot of people will buy these skates, um, you know, because there's been so many people talking them up. They'll get them and they'll be like, ooh, the, my arches or this or that. Like, be warned, they're for narrow, low volume feet. Uh, if that's you, you're in luck because these things are damn near perfect. So who are these skates for? Well, these skates are for all skaters from beginner to expert. Um, as long as you have a low volume, narrow foot, and you're looking for a great versatile urban uh, free skate, fitness skate, you name it, they're a versatile skate. So that's who they're for. Who are these skates not for? I would say these skates aren't really for the cross trainers or the speed skaters. Um, anybody that's going for super performance or super long distance, um, you're gonna want a more sp specific skate for those two niches just because um, these aren't designed with those exact things in mind. And second, I don't think they're they might not be the best for beginners just because there are cheaper skates out there. Um, especially if you're a beginner skater that is just getting into skating and you're not even sure if you're going to like it or not. I would, I would highly recommend checking out your local thrift, um, or looking at some cheaper, uh, a cheaper pair of inline skates to get you started just to kind of feel it out and see if you like it. So here are my final thoughts. If you are low volume, narrow foot person looking for a high quality, high performance, versatile, urban free skate, look no further than the Rollerblade Twister Edge. That's why I would say these are my go-to skates um, if I'm not aggressive skating. A little note if you're buying them, um, for a good, comfortable fit, I would say Go stick right around your, your shoe size. Um, maybe do a half size up for more comfort. If you're going more performance, like the way I wear my skates, um, I usually do a half size down in these skates. Uh, I know on like Inline Warehouse and some other places, they say go like a full size up. I don't know what they're smoking because I've been in a half size down of my shoe size in these skates for over a year and a half now. and. It is absolutely perfect for me. If you are going the performance route, you are going to feel some pressure point or some hurt in the first, mm, I don't know, first few sessions until you break them in. You might even need to do some heat gun on them in places. Be aware that if you're going for high performance, um, you gotta put in the a little bit more work and effort before they're like that glove for you. I am giving these skates a rating of 3.75 wheels out of four. I was debating giving these a perfect score of four out of four wheels. I just couldn't do it because I know these aren't the perfect skate. I don't think there is a perfect skate, but I think there are better skates than these out there. The reason I was thinking of going to a perfect score was because I think if you're the right person with a low volume foot, uh, a narrow foot, and you're budget is around $300 or under, these are the perfect skate for you. And the cherry on the top is that wicked warranty that Rollerblade offers. For me, these are about as good as it gets for an off-the-shelf skate under $350. If you guys have any questions about these skates, please let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them for you. If you guys like this video, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and ding that bell. And uh, until next time, guys, just keep rolling.